Okay, hi, this is Airfets. Uh, making this video in response to uh, someone that was having problems with one of their Airfets overheating. So um, I thought what I'd do is pull the um, heat shrink off uh, a non braked FET here, which I've got in uh, one of my own ICS M4s. This is a non braked version. It's looking messy because it's left half the glue still on it. I wanted to use uh, uh, a good example, this one's been in the gun for about a year and a half now. Um, this is a, uh, as I said, ICS M4 Pro line, um, slightly modded, it's got an SHS high torque uh, motor, um, an M110 spring, and uh, SHS internals. Um, currently running on a 11.1 volt uh, 1100 mAh LiPo, fully charged. Um, this test is purely to demonstrate uh, the heat generated. Um, the test I'm going to use is 120 shots in 60 seconds in semi-automatic. That will give us a very good idea as to how much heat you're likely to see generated for a, a general semi-skirmish. Um, so here we go. We're going to read the uh, current temperature of the FET, which should be somewhere around ambient. 16 and a half degrees. It's a bit nippy in here. That's what we've got. 16 and a half. We'll set the timer for a minute. We'll press start. We'll have to catch up a bit because I've only got two hands. But basically, I'm going to try and do two shots per second. Probe the uh, FET at the end and see what we've got. Probe it again. 26.7 degrees. That's well, well, well within. Well within what I would like to see. That's no problem at all. Um, so that's, that's barely warm to the touch. Barely warm. No problem at all there. Okay, guys, that's it. Um, just to demonstrate, you know, uh, if, if there's a lot of there's a lot of cheap FETs out there. This FET is a um, international rectifier. Let's see if I can get that on there. It's an international rectifier, RL, R IRLB 3034. I do not recommend you use anything else, guys. Um, the problem you've got as well is there is a lot of Chinese counterfeit FETs out there. I know because I've bought them. Um, I test everything I've got before I send it out. <coughs> the counterfeit when uh, one's fried, um, overheated way, way before. Um, some of them overheated within 15 shots on semi. Um, and they were actually marked up um, international rectifier. They had all the markings, the stampings, um, but they were counterfeit. Um, so all of my FETs only come from uh, reputable sources in the UK. Um, I'm not going to give out who the suppliers are, but um, they are available. Um, you do have to pay for them. They are expensive. The, um, the Chinese FETs were somewhere in the region of 20 cents each. Um, you've got to pay a few quid each for, uh, for the genuine article. So um, that's basically why my FETs are fairly expensive overall. But there we go, guys. That's the end of the video. Um, Hope it's given you a good demo. Cheers now.